Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Isengard campaign. So off camera I did a few movements around, I conquered Dunir, it was a pretty easy battle. Uh, I moved away from Karas, although I know there's an army right here in the, the, hidden, uh, the hidden fog over there. But I wanted to keep the pressure on Lont and Gren. This is just because I'm controlling 41 regions and I need 45. So as soon as I have the 43 regions, which will include Lond and Gren and um, Minas Morgul and Haneth and Noon, I'll have 44 actually, and even uh, Siri Thangul. Uh, after I've captured these three cities, I will not uh, show you what I'm, I'll be doing, because most of all, I'll be defending against Rune and all the other uh, invasion armies. As you can see, he's sending a lot of them, but I have more than enough to defend it. You know, just two small pocket armies that I can join in uh, together to, to have a full army. I still have this guy who is going to be the defender of Minas Tirith, while uh, Lord Isengard or Lord Saruman uh, keeps these units away. I'm thinking on destroying these two armies with uh, Lord Saruman and then even proceed to Hanneth Anun. Um, I'm still replenishing, of course. Now, I do have a small army here and this army here that's going to join the forces of Pelagir. So, this is what I'm going, all going to be doing on this uh, turn, which is to attack this Harad army, this Harad army, and keep the pressure on Harad for now. Of course, as I know that most of you will would love me to uh, would love to see me destroy Mordor or whatever, but it's going to take quite a long time. So what I would long what I would want actually would be to finish off my objectives first, and then proceed over there. So I need to capture Michel Delving and Bree. I don't have a diplomat there, so I guess I can. Well, I guess I can move this guy over there, and my diplomat can move over to Bree to keep an eye on it. I don't know if it's free peoples or not, but I'll just send like four armies through all of this area and deal with it. That'll be the idea. Of course, that'll be uh, mostly made off camera, just because you don't want me to to, to show you one ar or two armies just uh, wandering around and uh, having to defend still over here at uh, my uh, borders, let's say. So, I do need to crush this rune family member. That'll be the job for the hand of Isengard. Ooh, terrible, sorry, someone is vacuuming now. <laughs> and I want Ugluk to attack this guy, but with the forces from behind. So let me just move these forces over there. You can even have an additional unit there. And now I can attack. Good. Captain, what do we have? A southern lancers, two southern lancers, the catapults and ballistas. That's going to be the, the, the target. Uh, they don't have good units. They have basic spearmen and a few archers, a few southern warbands, I mean. Uh, some hashari, but most of this force is just weaklings, let's say. I don't have a full force here with uh, Ugluk, but the forces from uh, Lagluk should be more than enough to deal with them. So after this, I'll end up uh, attacking Rune, that uh, that invasion army of Rune, and yeah, most of the pressure will end up as soon as they stop sending their armies. You know, they have been failing too much, and they'll give up pretty easily. So what I want is actually for them to try and counter me. Because my forces are going to arrive on his uh, back, on his rear, and that will make it uh, quite difficult for him. So my archers are going to be on this side. I'm actually going to deploy them here. Use the stakes. Actually here and use the stakes. That's it. And then I'm going to move them to this uh, area. So, infantry. What am I going to have in terms of infantry? I don't have a lot of stuff. I know. I, I have a lot of stuff. That's not what I said. I don't have a lot of stuff that I would like to lose. Most of my men are actually quite powerful units, so I wouldn't like to lose them. Let me have something like this. You plus you. 
and you like this. That's it. So this is a powerful army, but not something that I would like to lose. That's the biggest problem there. I want my warg riders well protected and Ugluk and the bomb throwers as well. This guy is going to stay back. Actually, you can stay here, right there. Well, you're very experienced, so no. Okay, let's move out of there. I'll deploy my archers here. And my infantry is going to deploy really on their backs. That's it. Now, I have to count on my reinforcements for this battle. So I'll put them in an aggressive stance. Come on, where are you? Yeah, they are going to take quite a while to arrive. I have more than enough to deal with them here. But, oh, there's a lot of lag. Come on. Okay. There is some lag due to the amount of troops, I believe. But nothing too troublesome. Yeah. Just a little tiny bit. Tiny bit of lag. Okay. My forces are deployed. Let me uh, rush a little bit. He seems to be deploying. Uh... Yeah, he seems to be deploying, trying to attack both of us. Oh, he moved into range. Thank you. He moved into range. Let me zoom in. Well, actually, no. Let's put in an aggressive stance, shall we? He is moving the catapults and ballistas over there. Well... Certainly ballistas and catapults are going to do a lot of damage. That's it. Charge them up. Nice hit. Nice hit. Whoa, they're even hitting over there. Okay, so what I actually want is to move a little bit forward. He's not going to be well developed or well deployed if I do this and even deploy like here or something. That's it. My works can go over here. And this guy can go over here. That's it. So everyone just run. Yeah, he is like I was predicting. He is actually deploying really onto my uh, reinforcements. He wants to deal with my reinforcements first. So I'm going to keep moving. My archers over there. Everyone just run into position. Catapults. Deploy here. You can always stop. Whatever you want. Deploy here. Everyone runs into position. Go on, fast forward. You dude, you're gonna move back. That's it. Fast forward. That's some catapult unit. I think I can charge it, actually. Just so he misses a little bit. Yeah, they actually hit a few of my Urukai raiders there. Come on. Let's charge them up. Let's charge them, dude. I don't... I'm not afraid of these southern lancers, even though they're heavy cavalry. I think I can disengage my cavalry before that happens. So just that massive attack right there is going to weaken them considerably. Let's get you out of there, sir. Come on. Keep hitting. Keep moving. That's it. Keep moving so you actually disengage. You, Urukai Pikeman, you should deploy like this. That's it. Okay, stop your movement. That's it. Raiders, stop it. They are already fighting to the death. That's fine. That's what I really want you to do. You're going to stop because you can fire now. And my reinforcements are going to have to deal with the bulk of his forces. Yeah, I know. I'm having a lot of lag, guys. That's because of his movements. Oh, damn it. Ballista's hitting my pike. Or my archers, actually. Okay, archers, let's deploy over there. Come on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I have to move like this. Come on. Catapults, move here. Run. The berserkers are gonna hit the, those uh, corsairs and they're gonna stop moving. You says, well, I'm going to have my troops well deployed. Yeah, he is certainly attacking them, so I can just move right on his back. That's it. 
Catapults and ballistas, you're just gonna move over there. What is this? Corsairs fleeing the action. These ballistas are gonna get killed. Yeah, by my wargs, that's it. You are going to deploy here. You are going to deploy. You're already deploying. Everyone runs into position. You say you can attack this ballista right now. These are southern warbands. Yeah, he's trying to move a few units into position. I don't think he's going to be able to do so. Let's charge these Corsairs there. I think I'm managed. So how are their losses? Mm, so far, so good. Run into position. My ballistas are certainly having to deploy over there. That's where you're going to have to deploy. My bomb throwers. Oh, you're going to hit those Haradim archers. Oh! He killed their general. Yeah, I know there's a little bit of lag. Something tells me that it's not caused by my actual uh, decoder. Because I've actually seen that many times with no problem at all. So, archers, you're now into a good position. My infantry can move on their backs. That's it. Let's move you on their backs. Uruk bomb throwers, come on! Take those Haradrim archers, will you? You're gonna take those archers. My bomb throwers, you're in a good position. Come on, you're gonna stop. Take away the fire of normal ammo. Well, let's just kill them all! Where are still a few of his units? Ashadi there and Southern Warband. Well, let's charge this, assault, this Southern Warband. And the rest he's actually managing quite well. Mom, stop it. Stop it. I don't want you engaging over there. That's it. Hit those Southern Warbands. Uh, you're gonna charge this Hashari. I'm gonna actually stop these guys. My archers can do more damage. Okay, now hit over there. Hit the Southern Warband. Will you bomb throwers? Come on. Come on, bomb throwers. Plenty of targets here. Plenty of targets. Where are my war riders? Yeah, they're going to finish up these uh, Hashari, which are light infantry, although they do have a lot of good, uh, good uh, stuff. Okay, the, oh, it's only the Hashari that are fighting, so I'm going to start pursuing over there. They're just gonna die easily. One unit routed, not a problem. Yeah, these units are not gonna be uh, a part of anything for the moment. That's it. Go for it. I'm gonna strike them down. Come on, times two. So I did lose 700 men here, maybe less. Although that was an army mostly composed of snagas so hopefully that that won't cause too many damage or too much damage to, to my units okay you're almost not you're almost in the end sadly i don't have a lot of wargs that's something that i would change eventually in other playthroughs actually come on just attack these haradrim spearmen that's it Run! Attack those Haradim Spearmen, that's it. Who's over here? Oh, the bomb throwers. Well, they're quite fast, I gotta say. So they actually make good pursuers. I'm gonna stop this and stop the auto fire. That's it. Where can we deploy now? Still a few units to attack. Nothing too fancy. A few Corsairs, a few Southrone Warbands, and the Corsairs are gonna die. So everything seems to be fine. What is going on over here? Oh, full Southern Warband. What went up here? Huh. Nothing too fancy. Come on, War Riders. Charge them up. That's it. Just a few units there, it seems. Okay, let's exit the battle. Quite a clear victory, I only lost 40 men. 
And in terms of casualties healed up, eh, about a hundred. So I didn't lose too much. You can see that most of the, the units I lost were actually Snagas. So, yeah, I consider this a good victory, won't you? Now it's time to for me to attack the uh, Rune uh, invasion army. And with that army, I really want it to be easy. I want... Not, it's not an easy battle that I want. I want to lose as less men possible, so it's going to be a slow battle. Yeah. Execute them all. I don't want to see this army anymore. Now I'm going to join up these armies and retreat with Ugluk to protect against this army here. And this one, I really don't know what they have. So I'm going to check it out. Come on. What do they have here? A lot of, a lot of catapults. So this, this is not going to be an easy battle. Now, let's merge my units. Let's merge these units. And now let's actually deploy a good army for Ugluk. So Ugluk, what do you want? We want, of course, catapults. That's it. Now you do want a few archers. So let's give him two archers. Three archers? Three archers, that it, that it is. Three archers. Now I need some Urukai raiders. Uh, have I merged? Yes, I have. But I could even merge a little bit more. So. Hmm. Merge you. Merge the troops. Give them that raider. Can I merge everything here? Yes, now I can. Let's merge every unit. I'm just clicking M for merge, guys. So now I have three raiders there. Actually, two raiders. Now I would like a few snaggers. Uh, two snagger units. That's good. And what else? What else can I give him? Some snagger skirmishers. Of course. Well, you're gonna merge like this. Uh, the Uruk Reavers and the snagger skirmishers. That's it. And now you're going to have Berserkers, Urukai Pikes, the Bomb Throwers, the Warg Riders, another Urukai Pike. Let's actually try that up correctly. Uh, the Berserkers, Warg Riders, Berserkers and stuff. And you can still have an Urukai Infantry or the Guards of the Orthic. I think the Guards of the Orthic are better. So, Tirithraid. Well, you do have one full unit of Urukai Raiders. And you can actually build up a ballista, so no problem there. Now, I don't have a lot of stuff here. I will need this army to defend against what he's sending out. So, Ugluk, you're just going to go over there. You're going to wait at Pelagia. Can this army actually deal with this guy? I don't know. I think not. So, I'm just going to retreat into Pelagia. That's the idea there. This army, I think I can actually deploy everyone there. You can. That's it. Works kind of as well. Okay. Just to make sure that everyone is at least deployed somewhere. Okay, all of you are here. Okay. Enough on the movement and all that stuff. Let me join up this... Well... Not train up. This army is going to attack Rune, and that's about it. Then what I'm gonna do... Rune family member, what do we have? Clan Crosswoman. Interesting. Clan warriors, some tribesmen, not a lot of cavalry, I gotta say. And even his generals aren't really uh, powerful, let's say. They don't have a lot of units there. So this should be an easy battle. Although they have a six-star general, I'm counting on crushing him uh, early on. Another thing that I want to do is I have a lot of small units uh, scattered around and I want to join them up so I'll have less uh, I can so that I can have an idea of how actually how many men do I have in certain units. Now Osgiliath in all of these cities are getting to the point where they can actually produce a few units which will dr drastically increase my reinforcement capabilities. So, I guess I'm, I'm going to be fine. Let's start the deployment. Still winter, huh? So what I do want 
is my catapults and ballistas to do as maximum damage as possible. Now, my crossbows and archers, oh, I have so many, they will deploy here and deploy the stakes. I'm actually going to use the stakes for uh, this battle really easily. Let's deploy my Snaga Stalkers on this side, or not stuck the Stalkers, the Skirmishers. And now everything else is going to deploy on the big line, let's say. You are going to be my main forces. That's it, and between the units or on this on this flank, I'm going to have an extra reinforce. That's it, just so I have a little bit uh, thicker line there. And my snaggers are deployed there. Excellent. Start a bit. Whoa, they start way down here. I wonder if they're actually going to just stay there or attack me. Ah, damn it. I don't have any cavalry, so I would prefer if he would try to attack me. But he isn't attacking. Okay. No problem at all. I'll actually capture this high ground, which is cool for me. And my archers, that's, that's one thing. My archers need to be in a good spot so they can actually attack. My infantry needs to be deployed down here. And this other infantry needs to be deployed like this. So everyone run in position. My general is going to be behind everyone here. And my Snuggles skirmish actually, they're going to be deployed on this side. Just to, uh, then again, to have a thicker line. Times six. And let's go for it. I want my ballistas and catapults to at least hit a few of their units. I'm going to have auto fire with that. No flaming ammunition here. That's good. Let me see. Can I... Am I already deployed? Well, my catapults and ballistas, of course, they take a long time to reach us. But so far, so good. The reason why I, you may notice... Oh, why are, are you deploying the infantry so far away? Basically... I don't want them to have any casualties through my own fire. So if you put them really close to the ballistas, they will still get shot. And that's just the way that I want to avoid it. Now, he is not charging, and I can see with my cursor that I'm quite far away to even attack him. But I think if I deploy here and my infantry a little bit further, then I'm going to cause him to, to attack me. That's actually what I want, what I desire. Everyone run into position. Archers, you are going to deploy behind my... my. Well, actually, no. I'm going to deploy behind my infantry. That's it. He may try to flank, but I think that won't matter, actually. Now, here, there they come, and now I can actually attack with my catapults. He's sending out his Easterling cavalry, which is heavy cavalry, but even heavy cavalry, I'm sorry, you're not going to be able to deal massive damage against Urukai infantry well deployed. Now, my catapults may cause me some trouble. Yeah, like I said, look, just. Uh, let's charge or attack those guys. Come on, really? Hit the damn bodyguards. Catapults hit those dismounted Variax for not sending in. Really, I lost so many men just because of my own catapult fire. Well, most of the time I know that they actually uh, survived uh, the battle. He's trying to send him his bodyguards here. It's not really a good place to go, huh? Blisses, start attacking those bodyguards, will you? That's it. Urukai Pikes. Let's deploy here. Okay, my, his bodyguards are suffering some shots. And his clansmen, actually. He's targeting the Urukai Pikemen with his catapult, or with his general. Let's watch this. Yeah, Pikemen will always take care of a bodyguard unit, guys. They may take their losses, but they're going to kill them going to kill them. Let's issue guard mode here. And guard mode there as well. Snaga skirmishes can attack over there. 
Okay, client crossbow moon burn. That's a nice target for my units. Uh, let's take away the flaming ammo. Actually, that's something that I shouldn't use when I'm uh, deploying like this. There we go. Bodyguard is now weaker. 7% of my men lost. And so far, his bodyguard is losing a lot. My archers can attack those. Crossbowman. Let's charge them through. Oh, let's attack everything that they, they have, which is reloading. Now he's charging again, and he's gonna lose again. There's no chance for this. Snugger skirmishers, just attack the bodyguard. They have lost half their men, and his bodyguard is gonna start suffering a little bit because of this. Yeah, having no problems at all. I didn't want to lose so many men, but at least he is losing a lot of units. Okay, crossbows. Hit the bodyguard while you can, will you? You hit those dismounted fairy eggs. That's it. Did you actually send in a volley? You did. So now you can just start attacking the same missile troops that you were attacking. That's it. There is his uh, bodyguard hitting me over there. Urukai Raiders. Start flanking them. Hit those bodyguards, will you? What else is here? Attack those clan warriors. It's mounted very axe. Come on. Ballistas. Hit them. Now, where is his bodyguard there? Well, there it is. I don't care. Crossbows. You can hit that bodyguard unit. Okay, you're gonna hit those Balhut tribesmen. Urukai Raiders, charge the Easter Link here. Charge them over there. I know, the bodyguards are being hit by a few crossbowmen and archers. Come on! You can now start hitting those. Hit those. Just so I won't cause too much damage. There they go, bodyguards here. Charge them through, come on. I know, you think you can handle this, but you're not handling it well. Okay, my archers are only hitting the dismounted fairy eggs over there, so they will kill them easily. My general is engaging his bodyguard. And now it's time for my ballistas actually to stop their fire. Two, three, come on. Come on, two of them. Just don't let his bodyguard survive, will you? There you are. There you are, he's trying to hit me, but... Nah. Kill that one! And whoever is gonna kill that one, it's pretty easily now. Oh, hang on a second, if he's... If he's retreating, I can't actually catch him. So, no point having this. Every archer fire. Let's go for that. One of his general is already killed. Now I need to hit the other one. Come on, hit him! Come on, please hit him. Just a few shots. Just one full shot there. Uh, he's gonna survive. Damn it. Oh well. What we have here? Well, he's going to survive with that general, and that's kind of bad because he'll he'll be back. He'll usually be back, unless he just disbands or something. But usually, this doesn't happen. When when you don't kill the general, that's when some of his units are going to survive. So not the best battle from my angle, but of course, with a lot of cavalry units, you're never going to uh, hit a lot of them with your ballistas or catapults. So let's execute this guy. As you can see, he is retreating a lot with that one. Let's merge here. So, off camera, I'm going to plan out all of the merging that I can do. Reinforce my Isengard leader here. 
Although he doesn't need a lot of stuff. Maybe a few, uh, a few raiders and such. Yeah, certainly. These three raider units are more than enough to engage to reinforce Saruman here, and he'll probably attack this army. I don't know about this one. Maybe even attack Hanathanun. I don't know. I think that's going to be a good idea. Ugluk is going to protect Ostithil. Then he's going to go back and protect Tita Thraid there. In the meantime, I have several armies building up. Yeah, everything seems to be cool. This guy is going to reinforce here. Dunyard has a mighty army that's going to conquer one of the other cities uh, that I need. Uh, off camera, certainly I'm going to do this uh, siege here on Lond and Grand after the end turn. So that's something that to, that will keep you up waiting a little bit. So, yeah. Cheers, guys, and thank you all guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this campaign. Goodbye.